can see the engine starting to fire. Second the first stage ramping up. Engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. And liftoff. Lift off. Alex Kropochka, Jessica Mirhaza, Ali Almansuri leaping forth from Gagarin's start on their way to the International Space Station. Breathing gases and a safe atmosphere for the crew members should the capsule itself become unpressurized. They also get a communications cap so they're able to not only speak with each other but also the flight controllers down on the ground who oversee their flight all the way up to the space station. There are several specialists. You'll see a lot of uh, individuals wearing uh, masks and other items as the crew are kept in a quarantine prior to their mission um, to help uh, reduce the chance of any uh, disease, infectious diseases or anything making its way up to the space station. They're kept in a strict quarantine for about two weeks prior to their flight. Very controlled access to the crew themselves uh, and then any not also in quarantine uh, like Science and exploration uh, is important because what we've seen in other countries who have had space programs are the spillover effect that those induce in the countries and the uh, natural uh, uh, ancillary benefits that are, that are brought through that. You look at the Apollo programs, for instance, and many of the technologies we depend on today have come out of the Apollo program, things that even people take for granted sometimes. In our part of the world in particular, I think with desertification, with the climate conditions here, the, uh, one of the key things that we're uh, interested in is trying to see with Mars, for instance, how uh, certain technologies and challenges that we, we know we will face there with food, energy, and water can be applicable here. And um, you know, even the Mars mission that we have is going to study the Martian climate because there was once upon a time water on Mars. There was a Mars that looked more uh, uh, resembling of what Earth looks like, and we, un we need to understand what happened there to either avoid what could potentially happen here with climate change perhaps or so that when we do end up building a habitable settlement there we know what it takes we know what the challenges are so that's why it's important Inside the Soyuz rocket. Be careful here. Wave your hand carefully. 